Today, I'm going to troubleshoot and break down the Rode Wireless Go original and the Rode Wireless Go 2 and tell you all of the cables and configurations you need to set up this microphone to use on your computer, your phone, your tablet, your camera, whatever it is. And I wanna make this very clear because there has been some questions, concerns, and issues surrounding this. So let's just dive right into that. All of the content that you need to know to get your Rode Wireless Go original and the second one to be best utilized for what you need. So right now you're seeing a screen recording. I'm on Zoom right here, and I also have my system preferences up. So I went to the Apple icon, system preferences, and then I went to the sound icon so that I can see what my sound input is. And I currently have my Yeti microphone, if you don't know what that is, let's get my mouse out of my face. Uh, my Yeti microphone is this, this big guy right here. And it's really best used for direct to camera videos like this. It's just sort of used as my control so I have good audio, so I'm not just using my internal microphone. I can definitely switch it if I wanted to, but let's just say Yeti microphone, awesome. So I can see what's being plugged in and if it shows up. If it doesn't show up, it means it's not connecting. So today what I'm talking about is the Rode Wireless Go microphones. This is the original. We've got the receiver piece that would connect to your computer or your phone or your camera. And then we've got the microphone. So the microphone has a microphone up top where you can talk directly in it. You can clip it to your shirt. Or what I often do is, if I, is I clip it right to my sports bra underneath my shirt and you can hardly tell it's there. And I add the receiver to my phone or my camera or my computer. And I connect it using a certain cable we'll get to in a moment. The Rode Wireless Go 2, which is an upgrade that came out recently, is very sim similar, but it comes with two microphones. So you could have uh, dual people talking, two people talking at the same time, and it merges them together and it sounds really nice. You can have uh, interviews, you could play one with music, or you could set one next to your music speakers and one on you if you're doing let's say a live in-person yoga class at the same time that you're doing a Zoom class. So I did a couple of demos actually of that exact thing. So there's a lot of ways that you could use a double microphone. You cannot simply add another microphone to the original. It just it doesn't work that way. The price difference is $200 for the original and $300 for the Rode Wireless Go 2, which makes sense because there's an additional piece to it. So it makes sense that it would be another $100. But what they both also come with is uh, a couple cables. So it comes with this cable right here. This is the SC5 cable. You connect the receiver to it, and then you add the receiver to whatever's picking up um, the recording, the audio. But the thing is, this cable that it comes with only works with a camera, like a GoPro or any kind of camera, or a speaker to amplify your voice. It doesn't work with most, most computers or your phone or a tablet. In order to make it work with your phone, tablet, or computer, you'll need to buy a separate cable, and it's called the SC7 cable. It looks like this. So it has three rings on the gray side and two on the black side whereas this original cable has two rings and two rings, okay? And you don't need to buy the Rode brand. You can probably get away with a different brand that has three on one side and two on the other, but the, the side with two rings, the black side, is going to be plugged into your receiver, and the gray side is going to plug into your phone or your computer. And if you have an iPhone, you will need an adapter, so there's no headphone jack, so you need this adapter, the lightning cable adapter, you plug it in, right? And this would be the exact configuration you need for your iPhone or iPad, and you would put it in and use it for Zoom or video. The thing about this is, is that it plugs up the ability to hear anything, so you can't hear anything if this is plugged in like this. What you can do if you're on Zoom is to connect your phone to an external Bluetooth speaker and change the settings to Bluetooth for your speaker and that way you can hear through the speaker and you can speak through the microphone. If you try to play it back 
on your phone play back a video, you're not going to hear anything until you unplug this, okay? So that's how you'd work it with your phone. With a computer, couple options. Definitely test and see if the cables work. I actually did that. And if I go over here and plug in the receiver, let's say I just try this right here, I plug in the receiver to my computer with either cord, it doesn't come up. And the same thing with a Rode Wireless Go 2, it's not coming up for me, but it might be different for you. It's actually different with some MacBook Air computers and a few other computers, you can actually change it and put it directly plugged in using these cables. So try it, just try it out. If it doesn't work, I still highly recommend getting this SC7 cable because eventually you're going to want to use it with your phone anyway. What I've been doing for the past year, and it's worked perfect, I'll show you that so that if that's all you need, you can go and do it. What I've been doing is using the SC7 cable and connecting it to a totally separate USB adapter cable. So this is not an Apple brand. It's not um, it's not a Rode brand. It's the uh, Mies, Mil, Mil, it's $10 and it's got a headphone jack input to a USB. So when I plug in the SC7 cable, gray side to it, boom. And the black side to the adapter or the, the receiver, of the microphone and we go over here and look at the sound settings. I am going to plug this in to my computer. Wait a moment. And it shows up as USB audio device. And it also shows up in zoom. So if I go to this arrow on the zoom microphone button, go to the arrow, I can change my microphone. I can change it to the USB audio device and that's gonna change it to my Rode microphone. Let's actually do that right now. We're testing this out. So I'm gonna talk right into here and it's on the medium volume setting right now. Okay, so I am now talking using the Rode Wireless Go and I'm gonna change the volume to louder. Let's go louder. So this is louder and I typically don't keep it at the setting because it's too loud and it actually clips the sound or it's called clipping when it gets really loud, like above and beyond. And if I go to the low setting, which I'm on right now, it might be a little bit too low, but also it could be good for when the microphone's really close to you and you're able to talk loud enough or for um, web conferencing like this. I typically leave it on the medium setting when I'm teaching yoga classes. So that's plugged in through USB audio device. That's the little workaround. I'm able to change the volume settings, no problem. So I'm gonna change this back to my Yeti microphone and unplug my USB connection. Again, this is what it looks like connected to my computer. Receiver, SC7 cable, and this USB adapter. $15 sold separately, $10 sold separately, you're good to go. Now there's a thing that I have to share with you and I have to test out myself that with the Rode Wireless Go 2, you can use the charging cable to plug in to the computer. So I'm gonna first test it with the original microphone and see if that works. I don't think it does, but I hear that the Rode Wireless Go 2 does work. However, I've heard so far, we're gonna test it together. I've heard that you can't change the volume setting if you plug it in this way. So there, there's these cables that connect to the side here and then you can charge it by plugging it into whatever. Let's see if I go back to this sound input, if I plug it in through USB and USB-C, let's see if it pops up. This is the original, nothing's coming up. Okay, let's take that out. And now I'm gonna plug in the Rode Wireless Go 2. So here's the Rode Wireless Go 2, put it into the side plug in through USB charging cable and it shows up, awesome. Wireless Go 2 RX, that's the receiver. And if I go to Zoom, it also says Rode Wireless Go 2 RX. Okay, so I'm gonna use one of the microphones, one of the microphones, this is one of the microphones, and we're gonna change this to the Wireless Go RX microphone. Don't change the speaker settings. Remember, you wanna keep it on the built-in output so you're able to hear from the computer just the microphone. So let's change Rode Wireless Go 2. 
And how you can test this is going right here and going to test speaker. Yes. Okay, do I hear a replay? Yeah. What about if I turn it up? What if I turn it down? What I was hearing was that the volume setting did not change when I have this plugged in through the charging cable. And that's probably going to be the case. Okay, and now I'm gonna plug in the Rode Wireless Go 2 through the USB cable connection that I had talked about in the first place. The same one that I used with the original. So we've got the SC7 cable and the odd the USB adapter and again it shows up over here as a USB audio device I'm going to change it to the USB audio device as my microphone so here's the USB audio device as my microphone now if I test it test okay what does this sound like and if I want to turn it up, I just turned the volume up. It is louder. And I just turned the volume down. And you can't even hear it. <laughs> oh, barely. You can barely hear it on the low setting. Again, I keep it on medium. Great. Now I can say, there you have it. When you plug in through USB and SC7 cable, you're able to change the volume settings. If you plug it in through the charging cable, you cannot change the setting of the volume. So I wouldn't use this, this charging cable, as the cable to plug into the receiver of the Rode Wireless Go 2. I would definitely go ahead and spend the extra $10 and get this thing. It's just gonna save you so much energy and effort and frustration to just go with this setup. It works. I know it does. It's worked for an entire year. It's worked on everything that I've done. It's worked in my phone. It's worked on my computer. It's worked amazing. And so if you're going to do it, go with this setup and you're good to go. Okay. I hope that was a good enough explanation for you. I will link everything down below this video and my links are affiliate links meaning that i make a small really tiny actually commission from amazon because they're amazon affiliate links so i'm not paid by any company to share these videos i'm really just hoping to share these so that i can help more yoga teachers get out and actually teach yoga because it is so needed right now. And when you are confident about your audio and your technology setup, you can be more confident as a teacher and get out there and teach more classes so that the world can be more peaceful and more stress free. So good luck with all of that. And if this was helpful, give this video a like, a thumbs up. You can always subscribe to me if you find value in my videos. Otherwise, I hope to catch you in another video. Leave a comment if this was helpful and I'll see you again soon.